I am Peter H. Reynolds, and I am author of The Dot, and you are watching Kidlit TV. Hi, I'm Rocco Steno, and welcome to the Kidlit TV Dot Day live stream celebration. We're here in the Kidlit TV studio in New York City celebrating creativity with you, and we have some super special guests you'll meet in just a moment. But first, I want you to tell me and all my Kidlit TV friends how you're celebrating Dot Day, and the way you can do that is. There's a comment section right below, and you can grab your markers and pencils and crayons to draw, color, or just be fearlessly creative, like Fosti, and, your, and have your teachers, librarians, or parents can then share your creations with us by using the hashtag make your mark and tag kidlit tv so let's have that celebration from our guests yeah hey hey welcome everyone what are you guys doing we're, we're making, making a, a collaborator a collaborator what's a collaborator it's a dot you make together with your friends oh well, that's great. So, uh, Joyce, come on over here and help me start celebrating sure. Dot Day. Yes, we have uh, Joyce Wan, who is a illustrator, but she also writes books. And you have uh, two of your books here, right? Yes, I do. I have uh, my two latest books are um, a follow-up to Pug Meets Pig. This is uh, Pug and Pig, Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. That's coming up in uh, almost uh, six weeks. Yeah, soon. Right. Very soon. And um, this is published by Beach Lane Books, Simon & Schuster. Oh, terrific. And it's just uh, it's the Pug and Pig are back for a heartwarming Halloween adventure. Ah. Dealing with uh, a costume kerfuffle. A kerfuffle. A costume <laughs> kerfuffle. And you have a book that you wrote and illustrated. Yes, I have um, this book. Um, it's called Good Night, Sweetie, and it, uh, it's an ode to all things bedtime, and it features um, sleepy, chubby characters like a, a wishing star and a bedtime book and um, a sleepy little nook. Well, you know, doing all these books, you have to be creative all the time, and we're going to keep you being creative. Right now, we're going to ask you to grab our pad and our Farber Costell uh, marker that you have, that you, uh, I, what color? Pink, you're using pink. Uh, yes, I'm using pink, one of my favorite colors. There okay. you go. So. Uh, we're gonna put you to work. Yeah, so I think um, one of the, some of the tips I have um, for, for kids out there is that, um, you know, to always just keep drawing, you know, practice makes perfect. And um, one thing I like to do is to just, um, you know, keep a sketchbook with you at all times. And no matter how silly of an idea, how simple of an idea, just put it down, you know, in your sketchbook. Nobody has to see it. It's just for you. And um, I'm going to start by um, just drawing a few of the characters from my um, from some of my latest books. So um, I have here, you know, and it's really, I just wanted to show how simple it is, you know, sometimes to just draw. Um, that star is becoming a person. That star is becoming a person. Yes, it is. Um, I tend to put a lot of happy faces in on my, on my uh, characters. Um, and, um, you know, I wanted to show you. Um, just even with simple shapes, how you can um, make um, your own mark. So uh, I have a wishing star, and um, you know I have um, sometimes oh, in there. Look at that! Uh, Voila, a book. A book, and um, you know you got to put a face on that too. <laughs> and um, I also have in my latest book um, a little. Uh, you know, I'm going to split the page here, actually, and so I have more space to draw. Okay. And um, 
Uh, and I will draw some of the characters from uh, Pogmeet's Pig. I just wanted to show you sometimes how simple it is sometimes, even with just simple shapes. Uh-huh. You can There's a, uh, almost a dot, a circle. Yeah, you can start with a circle. And actually, most, um, most characters often are just built around simple shapes. So to make Pig, often I just start with a circle, and then another circle, and then a dot for the eyes. Dots. You're giving away all your secrets there, Joyce. Um, and then, um, you know, you can draw a couple of, of those things here um, to make uh, pumpkins here in celebration of Halloween. Halloween, yeah. yes, that is terrific. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Rocco. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, and I'm going to make you get back to work oh, right okay. there. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, that day all began with a book by Peter Reynolds called The Dot. So I'm sure that in your school or in classroom or uh, at home, you may have a copy of the dot. So thank you, Peter Reynolds, for doing that. <laughs> David S. Ristein, come on down. It's your turn to be part of the Dot Day celebration. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Hey, it's great to be here and celebrating creativity with you. Yes, and you guys are doing it. Mean, we're not going to show anybody, but they're doing a great job. We're going to show them uh, your work uh, later. But you, too, have some things to share with us, don't you? That's right. I have some... I have a new book out right now called Ice Boy, which is about a little ice cube who escapes from the freezer. Oh, uh, uh, we don't have to know. He escapes, from the fr- <laughs> he escapes from the freezer. I'm afraid to think what may happen to him. Well, you'll have to read the book, Rocco. Yes. But no, no spoilers. No spoilers. Tonight. It comes out well in the end. Oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. And, that, and that's published by? And this is from Candlewick Press. The Candlewick Press up there in Boston. And what else do you have? Two goodies for next year coming out are... Uh, next, year meaning, next year meaning 2018, uh, right? Yeah. This book is called Honey, and it's a sequel to my book Leaves that some people might be familiar with. Mm-hmm. That's about the same bear who really, really wants the honey to be ready, but it's not ready yet. Mm-hmm. So if you've ever anticipated something and waited and waited and waited, like... You really wanted it, like International Dot Day, for example. Mm-hmm. When is it going to come? That's how the bear feels in this story about honey. Ah, and that's uh, 2018. So, hey, boys and girls, you know, you're, you're seeing this here first, you know, because this is not even a book yet. Well, this is called F and G's. This is how a book looks before Be- it's actually published. A, before it so I can book. take the book apart. Woo. Yes, look and, at that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, or we just can to, spill it on the floor. But now you, now you have something really special to show us, don't you? And another super cool book in 2018 will be the sequel to Interrupting Chicken, which is called Interrupting Chicken and the Elephant of Surprise. And now this is a co- this is a cover that's in the works, right? No one, no one other than you and the people at your publisher have actually seen that, have they? That's right. This is super top secret. Uh, it's still top being worked secret. on. No more. It's top secret. No more. It's just between us, right? Yes, okay. and yes, and everyone that's watching, uh, the, and everyone that's watching the live stream. So this book is interrupted by an elephant. An elephant that the chicken puts into every story. Ah, okay. Well, that's great, and that's uh, coming out in 2018 also. Okay, now we're going to put you to work to be creative. But you seem to be be a very creative guy, and we have loads of markers somewhere. I think right behind you. Well, first I wanted to show you my little friend, since it's International Dot Day. Yeah, it is. International, yes. This is Maurice. Maurice. Uh, oh, hey, Ma- my- hey, Maurice. <laughs> hey, Maurice. Good boy. <laughs> Maurice is my pet dot. He's fuzzy and cute. Uh, he's an Alsatian, actually. Uh-huh. And uh, he likes to be scratched <laughs> under his chin. Uh, how, uh, how, how do you find uh, Maurice's chin? I was going to say it. He's a dot, so it's hard to find his chin. Yeah, he kind of likes to scratch any any old place. Well, you know, David, you're the first. Per- not even, not even, as far as I know, Peter Reynolds has his own pet dot. Uh, but you know, so you have a pet dot, David. Yes. And you too can adopt a pet dot if you if you like. You can go down to the pet dot rescue and pick uh, up a dot. Uh, that- 
pet dot rescue. Yes. Yeah, it's very cute. I like that. Yes. Maurice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of dots, let's uh, get a marker. And he has one. Yeah. Voila, as they say. So, you know, if you have trouble thinking of what to draw, a dot is actually a very fun shape to start with because it can be pretty much anything. Dots are very playful. Um, like this dot right here is, uh, well, this dot is winking at you, see? That's uh -huh. when it's not winking, yes, winking. And um, yeah, a dot can be pretty much whatever you like. Um, one cool piece of advice that I heard about creativity, if, you're, uh, if you want to become a great artist and a great drawer, there's this book called The, uh, the Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. Mm -hmm. And in it, she says to rest on the page. If you rest on the page, it doesn't mean that you take a nap on a piece of paper like this. It means that you, whenever you feel really excited, really sad, uh, really tired, you, you come back to your sketchbook, your piece of paper, and you express yourself there. And that's sort of your safe refuge from the world. And as you do that, you know, if you use drawing in that way, it becomes a safe place for you. And you'll become a great artist just by doing that. Yes, well, that is terrific. Yes, and uh, yeah. Oh, and we almost are out of time. Was there anything else you wanted to uh, draw? Uh, at the moment, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you know, we're going to actually send these uh, creative dots to two places that collect all. Kidlit stuff. One is the De Grumman Collection in Southern Mississippi, and the other one is the Curling Collection in Minnesota, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So these are going to go into a collection. Yes. So I'm going to send you back to work there, David. Okay, Raku. Yes. Okay. Yes. And before we continue, before we continue with more interviews. I want to check in with the creator of the dot, Peter Reynolds. Now, Peter is celebrating at the Russell Elementary School in Dorchester, Massachusetts. Hey, Peter, how's it going there? Hey, Rocco and all our friends at Kidlit TV. We are here at the Russell Elementary School in Dorchester, Massachusetts, which is also named the Dot, how cool is that? We are in Greater Boston, and we have come to Dot Central here and to celebrate International Dot Day with all of you out there who are watching in 169 countries around the world and uh, uh, almost 10 million dot makers, everyone making their mark. Today we're celebrating creativity and the arts and creative thinking and thinking how can we use our talents and our energy to make the world a better place because the world needs us right now in a very, very big way. And that's why we all come together to connect the dots together today, but with everybody out there watching. We're wishing everyone an amazing, creative uh, year where you all make your mark and uh, hey, we'll see where it takes you. So everybody, happy! Yeah. Well, you know, they're, they're not only celebrating in Dorchester, Massachusetts, the Bay, uh, Bay Farm School is celebrating with over 600 students. And a whole nother group has a dot day dress up. But speaking of Massachusetts, there's a big city in Massachusetts. It's called Boston. And the mayor of Boston, I'm sure we all know, is Marty Walsh. And Marty has something to say about Dot Day. So let's hear it from the mayor. Hi, I'm Mayor Marty Walsh, and I want to congratulate the Russell Elementary School for being chosen as International Dot Day Headquarters. Special thanks to your principal, Tamara Canty Blake, for hosting this event. This book is about making your mark in a positive way. It's about being brave and making the world a better place. In Boston, that's what we work hard to do every day. I hope this book inspires you to make your mark. Reach out to help someone, a classmate, a teacher, or someone in your neighborhood. Just like Vashti's teacher told her, just make a mark and see where it takes you. 
I know you're going to have an amazing school year and I can't wait to see the creative ways you make your mark. I have to go take care of some of the city of Boston right now, but I'm glad to celebrate International Dot Day with you. I took a peek at what our guest artists are doing. It is fabulous, but you're going to have to wait to see it. And they're using some supplies from Faber-Castell, and uh, they actually have that company on their website actually has a lesson plan, a cool demo, I should say, on how to create Kandinsky-inspired artwork. Ask your art teacher who Kandinsky is. And you can, uh, teachers, parents, kids, you can actually download the information on how to create these beautiful pieces of art right here below. So make sure you do that. And thank you for all the art supplies here. And Anna, come on down. Hey, thank you. You guys are doing a great job there. Yeah, yeah they don't see it, but we do. I it, know. It's, it's, we're really looking forward to sharing it. Yes. I, you're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe it. Yeah, yes. So, you have some books, don't you? Yeah, I do. I brought some of my books. My latest book is um, If I Were a Kangaroo, yeah. written by Melissa Larson and published by Viking. And it's about a, a mom uh, uh, putting, her bed, bed, her, putting her son to bed and um, imagines what it would be like if they were all different animals. So, did you go to zoos to look at animals? I did happen to go to zoos, but after I finished the book, and I really should have gone first, but I had a great time drawing all these. There's giraffes and otters and gorillas and all kinds of animals. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you have a favorite animal? Um, I love giraffes, and maybe uh -huh. it's because my last name is Raff. I don't oh, know. Giraffe. Raff the Raff. giraffe. Raff the giraffe. Another book. There we exactly, go. <laughs> exactly. I also brought, um, this book is by Sharice Miracle Harper. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, A Big Surprise for a Little Card. And I know we're drawing do dots today, but Little Card is basically a rectangle, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, which I, I, he's, a, he's a, a library card who thinks he's a birthday card. Oh. So he gets sent to a uh, birthday card school. Ah. Um, and then discovers he's actually a library card. So um, ah. he, this was published by Candlewick. Okay, Candlewick. And then it brought World Rat Day, which is... Uh, I, you know, there are days for everything, <laughs> and there should be a World Rat Day. Yeah, this is a book of poems on uh, animal holidays, and World Rat Day is, uh, is a very memorable one in April. So, <laughs> Well, you know, really, there is a World Rat Day? There is a World Rat Day. Rat day it's on April 4th. Oh, yeah. good. I'm glad it's not on my birthday, April 11th. No, no, no. And we're in New York, so there's plenty of rats. Uh, rats. There yeah, are. there's rats. Yes. Yes. yes, they are. And so that is great. So now we're going to put you to work. Yes. I'm, my next book is all about the, the universe, and it's, um, it's about poems uh, on the solar system. So I thought, you know, lots of planets... Um, are round, well, planets are round, so I thought I'd start by drawing a planet. And since um, Saturn has been in the news a lot lately, uh, I thought that might be a good one to show. Um, so the poems are all very humorous. This is also a book uh, by Candlewick. It's called um, The Day the Universe Exploded My Head, <laughs> and it's written by Alan Wolfe. So it's all humorous poems about the, the universe. Okay, so I'm going to start with Saturn. Uh, start with the circle, obviously. Mm-hmm. It, it, dot, it looked like a big dot. dot right? A big dot. It's a yes. Big, it's a big dot. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of color in the background. And so most of the poems um, in this book uh, sort of create characters out of the, out of the planets. So they're, um, they're personalities and stuff. And I like to picture, when I'm drawing, I'd I try to sort of think I'm directing a movie. So I'm, I'm thinking about what kind of character is this, this Saturn? Um, and today I was thinking it'd be funny if Saturn's rings were a hula hoop. So I got a hula hoop there. I'm going to add some eyes and a mouth and some legs and some hands. Whoops, hands. Get my hands out of the way. And Saturn also uh, has a lot of radio waves going through it. So there's, there's some headphones on Saturn. So we're, there he is. He's going to get some stars around him. That's great. So, that is great. So, yeah. So that you can make a, plan a planet into a character. 
and you know what you need to do. I need to make his mouth darker. Uh, well, that, but also you need to sign, everyone needs to sign their artwork, and you need to sign that. But if you can't do it now, we'll have you do it later. I'll make his, I'll make his mouth darker. There, that's better. Yeah, much better. Okay. Much, much better. <laughs> yes. I need to get back to work. You, you need to get back to work. <laughs> but, well, thank you so much, and we thank can't, you. You, uh, this, is, I, I am shocked at how great this is. It looks fantastic. It does, yeah. it does. Well, we'll put you back to work, Thanks. yes. And yeah, so we're all celebrating Dot Day in various ways, but our next celebrity, our next artist, our next illustrator is Michael Arndt. Hey, Michael, come on down. I feel like, yeah, good to see you. To see you. Yeah, you're just like right back from a big trip to Budapest. Budapest. And what country? The ocean in Hungary. It's Hungary. The... You look yeah. good. You don't look hungry. Well, because I ate a lot in Hungary. <laughs> Great. So you have I a didn't book. Eat any turkey, though. No turkey. Oh, no, good. Because that's, that would be Istanbul. <laughs> that's true. Ba boom. <laughs> you have a, a book here. Yes. yes. I do. It's called Cat Says Meow. It's by our friends at Chronicle Books in San Francisco. Um, it's animals and their sounds. It's animals who look the same as they sound. So it's animalopia. Uh, wait, let me wait. Let me wait. Animalopia. Animalopia. That's six six syllables, Rocco. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's animal. Animal. Alpia comes from onomatopoeia. Do you know what onomatopoeia is? Well, remind me. It's words that look the same as they sound. Uh -huh. So like clap or boom. Or Ooh. splash. Yes. Okay. So the cat says meow, right? Yeah. Those cats say meow. Yeah. Mine, the, mine, yeah. mine says meow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, do you see the letters in meow? Uh, oh, there it is. M E. e can you guys see that at home? M E O W. Let and me it, wait. Let me say M E O W. You're a creative guy, you oh, know. Thank that. you, Rocco. Yes. Yeah, I like being creative. Yes, yeah, yeah. And that's what and that's what Dot Day is about. And you actually started this book with a dot. Absolutely. The cat was the very first animal because it's cat says meow and other animal up here. So he has twenty five friends. Mm -hmm. It's not just a cat. He's got oh, oh look at that. All well, the I, barnyard of friends. Yes. That, those are the animal up here. That's his family. In, can you zoom in on that? Okay, yeah. he is. So what I did was I started with a circle. A yellow circle, because yellow is a happy color, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? He can't hear. I can't speak to him. He can't hear me. He can't taste anything. I think he needs ears. I think he needs eyes. I think he needs a mouth. Right. So I gave him the letter M for ears, because an M sort of looks like ears, doesn't it? It does. Right? Yes, it does. And then I gave him an E and an O, because those are kind of dots, too. Did you mm -hmm. know, Rocco, did you know letters are, are, are just shapes? Yeah, I guess so. Can I show you? Yes, please do. All right, so I need a marker. Uh, okay, pick a marker. Red one. Okay. okay. So, if I draw the letter A, like my last name, mm -hmm. do you see a shape in there? I do. I, I do. How about you guys at home? Do you see a shape? It's not a square. It's not a square. It's not a, it's a circle or a, a dot. Circle, no. It's not a re rectangle either. No, it's, it's a triangle. There you go. How about the letter? This is an easy one. Okay. How about the letter O? Okay. What shape is that? Uh, uh, well, I know what shape it is. Do you guys it, know? Yeah. It's a circle. There you go. All right, this one's a little... I thought it was a donut, but that's okay. Well, that's because you're hungry, because you haven't been to Hungary. That, that's right. All right. <laughs> so... Here we have the letter M, like my name, like Michael, right. and like meow. So it's kind of, if you finish it, t -t 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 -t. what is that? It's a square. Oh. Now, here's the trick question. There's one letter, a capital letter. Capital letter. Big, big letter. Big letter. Not the little ones. That's a circle, a triangle, and a square. Wait, 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 wait. A circle, a triangle, and a square. A circle, triangle, and a square, and it's one letter. Oh, yeah, so it's uh, a circle. Okay. T 
Do you know what it is yet? Uh, well, it looks like a backwards, a backward C, but we're not finished. It's a triangle. Oh, I know what it Shh, is. Don't give it away. Uh, okay. They haven't guessed yet. And it's a square. Uh, See, that's the square rectangle. Okay, that's the circle. And that's the triangle. And uh, I should have guessed this because, because it's R of Morocco. Yes. Yes. Very interesting. You want to meet some of Cat's friends? Yeah, most definitely. Okay. So we have Cat. He's the star because mm -hmm. it, it, his name is on the book, so he has to be on the, on the cover. And then I actually like... I like dogs better than cats. No, so do Don't, I. Yeah. Oh, but no, no. Sorry, all you cat people. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry, we like sorry, cats yeah, too. Yeah, we like cats. So, dog says woof. Mm -hmm. Where Where do you think his ears are? What letter? Uh, uh, well, uh, well, well, I think. Uh, well, I think. Uh, it's not an M, but it looks like an upside down M. Well, it could be an M. Uh, yes. It, the fun thing about letters and shapes yes. is sometimes they can turn them around and they become different letters. Right. But it's so, the same it's shape. It's a W. It's a W. Yeah. So dog says woof. W O O F. Ah. And then we uh, have uh, cat. That's which easy. we did that one. And right. Little friend the mouse. Mouse. Now this is a hard one. So we'll, oh yeah. Should we skip <laughs> this one because it's too hard? Yeah. Well, I'll do that later. Yes. We'll do that later. Yeah. Right. This is an easy one. So, the cow, cow says moo. Yes. So, M O O. Moo. Pig says oink. O I N K. So, did you know all of these started with dots? I didn't, but you're telling me. Yeah. Yes. So, the cat, I want them all to be as simple as the cat, right? But then I realized, you know, pigs have snouts. Mm -hmm. They have long noses, right? So, if I don't have that, he's just going to look like a pink cat. Yeah. And the cow is black and white. So if I just do a black circle, he has no white. So I had to modify the dot, but every drawing I started with a dot. I did these on the computer, and I just started to pull the shapes. I made longer ears or shorter ears or bigger noses, but they all started as dots. So you did this on the computer. Did, you, uh, yeah. So you didn't uh, uh, actually take a, a marker. You no. actually used a, a, a program? Yeah. Uh -huh. yep. So you can be creative on the computer, you can be creative with markers, you can be creative with food. Don't tell your parents I said this, but you can play with your food. You can... It's a 1.30. That's our, that's our friendly uh, grandfather you know clock. Rocco, it's another dot. Another dot. One big one. Yes. yes. And do you see the other small dots all around? Those seconds, the yeah. minute, the minute sure. things. Yes. Oh. Does everyone at home see that? Yeah, I don't know if you could see that. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's our kid lit TV. Uh, I don't know if it's a grandfather or a grandmother or a clock. It's just a big clock. Yes. Right. But where were we? We were talking about the circles, the dots. So let's see what else do we have that are dots. The chicks were dots, but mm -hmm. then they were too fat, so I kind of gave them a back. I pushed pushed the dot in. Mm -hmm. It's like a balloon. If you squish it, it becomes this shape, like a kidney bean. Mm -hmm. And then the donkey. Oh, we were talking about uh, food. Oh, yeah. You can play with your food, but don't tell your parents I said that. You can play with um, nature, like leaves. That's where I get inspiration. If I get, if I get stuck, mm -hmm. I take my dog for a walk. And mm -hmm. I live near Central Park. Mm -hmm. And we go for a walk, and we see the leaves. We see the sky. We see the light. We see people playing colors in this, at sunset. Anything can inspire Anything. Your bow tie is going to inspire me. I'm going to go home and do something with your bow tie. Oh, well, thank you. I'll be flattered. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's, that is great. So we're going to, uh, uh, that's called Cat Says, says meow. meow. And other animal um, uh, Okay. You say that work three on. times fast. I'll work, work on, on it. Work we on. have to take this uh, show on the road. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, get back to work. They need me back there. They do. do uh, no, not at all. Okay. okay. Thanks, Rocco. Yes. Thanks, everyone. Mm. Well, we are going to go to a state in the middle of the country. We're going to visit the founder of a dot day, and that's Terry Shea. And we're going to go to his school and to a special room in his school at North Tama School. Hey, Terry, how are things going there? Welcome to North Tama School in Traer, Iowa. This is the room where International Dot Day began in 2009. I'm here with some fifth grade friends, and we'd like to show you some things that we worked on this year. On the wall, there are two pieces of canvas that were decorated by the junior high chorus and the high school chorus. They will hang there until next September. You will also see fifth graders along with first graders and high school kids made some very special dots 
for our friends in Florida and in Texas. And finally, the fourth and sixth graders, along with the high school chorus, created Collaborodots. They work together in pairs to make special dots. Welcome to the North Tama School. Um, today we're collaborating with the fourth and sixth graders. Working with the high school is really fun. All you have to do is just, just color. Thank you for visiting and happy dot day. Happy dot day! Thanks for all the comments. Hey, Julia Zabo, you have your sixth graders doing a dot chain where they're talking about their individual uh, strengths and our friends in Texas. And who was that in Texas? That uh, uh, who? Their ch hey, Karen Hobbs. Thank you for the big cheer from the big state of Texas. Yay! We all love Texas. Yes. And we have one more celebrity illustrator, and that's Lori Richmond. Come on down, Lori. Hey, how you doing? You guys are doing a fabulous, fabulous. Good. It does look terrific. It looks really good. <laughs> I am very, I'm very, I am very, very impressed. Yes. So you create books. I do make books, Rocco. I'm an author and an illustrator. Oh, and I bet, like all your friends here, you may have a book or two to show I us. I think so. Uh, I think it's right on the table. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no, back to the camera, I was told. Yes, there we go. Yes, yeah. I just want to take one second to appreciate Rocco's dot day bow tie, everyone. These little dots on his bow tie, they're so cute. Well, thank you so much. I, I did, actually. Obviously. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we have... So my first book I'm sharing today is Pax and Blue, and mm. this is from Simon & Schuster. Uh -huh. and I was just in Simon & Schuster this morning. Yes. Well, great. Yes. It's like we planned it. So this is a friendship story about a little boy and a pigeon, and something happens on their way to school, and they get separated, and the pigeon winds up trying to follow Pax to school, and all kinds of shenanigans happen, and it's all about helping someone else. Sh a friend. Shenanigans. I have a question. Shenanigans. Yes. The I, best word. So, uh, you know, you created this book, and, and the first time you actually, I'm just going to hold that for yeah. So, the first time you open up an envelope and you see the book for the first time, tell me, how does that feel? Um, I hugged the book, and then I wanted to take it to bed with me and like carry it everywhere. And I kept joking that I was gonna put it on a chain and just wear it around my neck. Yeah. It's, so, it's so special, because you work on books for such a long time, and there's a lot of waiting. You have to be really patient, and I'm really, really bad at waiting. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes, it's just like, it's like your birthday, and Christmas, and New Year's, and everything in one. Yes, when you say it's a long process, so the book goes through uh, various uh, stages, and your other book here is in a particular stage, yes. right? Yes, and this is uh, called Bunny Staycation, and this is coming in February from Scholastic. Uh -huh. And this is an F and G, so see, it's kind of floppy. Yeah, we can yeah, another one of those. Yeah, it's yes. missing the cover. And this book is about Bunny, whose mama is going away on a business trip, and Bunny doesn't want her to leave. So again, shenanigans. Bunny tries to get her to stay, and she winds up going, but it's all about the adventure he has at home with Papa while uh -huh. Mama's away. Very good, and I love uh, Bunny has a... Is that a crown? He does, a little crown. And Bunny, just like Vashti in the dot, uses his creativity to kind of deal with the challenge of missing mom while she's away. Well, speaking of creativity, we're going to make you creative. We don't have to make you. You are creative, and you're just going to continue that creativity. Okay. And we have a page left. Yes. We have one page left. All one, right. one page no left. Pressure. Yes. So one thing that I love to do with kids is a drawing game. So Rocco, are you, are you willing to do this drawing game with me? Sure. Uh, of course, yes. Okay. So what's your favorite food? Uh, what are you hungry for right uh, now? Pizza. 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 Okay. So we are going to design a character based on everything that Rocco tells me. Oh. Okay. Okay. So pizza, we're going to do pizza first. So, well, and we're in New York, so we have to make a really good slice of pizza. So we'll make the crust. Oh, okay. And then maybe some pepperoni on there. Okay, great. And then we'll need a little face because okay. that's going to be our character. So what, after you have your pizza, what do you have for dessert? Oh, a, uh, an ice cream cone? 
or a, okay. yeah, or a sundae. Ice cream. Ice cream or sundae? Yes. Ice cream cone's good. So we'll make our pizza guy have a little ice cream hat. Oh. So the ice cream cone is going to go right on top of there. And we know that we're never going to see a pizza walking around with an ice cream on its head. But, but we are in New York. <laughs> it's true. It's true. But that's the great thing about creativity and using your imagination. It doesn't matter if it's real or not. You can draw whatever you want. So now, after you've had your ice cream, what are you going to have next uh, to give yourself a tummy ache? Uh, uh, some chocolate candy. <gasps> chocolate candy. All right. So we're going to make like a Hershey bar. Okay. Kind of those little... For, for our friends in Pennsylvania. Yes. Yay, Pennsylvania. Little claps back there for Pennsylvania. And now we need some legs. So we'll have one more dessert food because I love dessert too. Okay. What should we uh, uh, That can be uh, pretzel sticks. Pretzel sticks. Love it. Okay. <laughs> I'm helping you out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know, right? And, th and thanks for making it the stick instead of the regular pretzel. We need some salt <laughs> on there. So I have little salty pretzels. Or pretzel rods. Yes. Yeah. But see, you know, we've made this brand new character, which I think we should name Rocco. Uh, well, you know what? I think we should p have our people that are watching be creative and post some possible names for this character. We could have Rocco, but I already had the, the middle name Rocco. Well, make the middle name. So we need a name for this character that's, uh, I'm not going to, yeah, it's yummy because it has all my favorite things, pizza, ice cream, chocolate, and pretzels. But let's get a few comments uh, here. Yes. So we have a name. We have a name. Cake. 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 Uh, from Dana Peely, yes, calls it cake. cake. Okay, yes. We're going to write cake up here. Cake. Thank you so much for naming our character. Yes. And now everybody can put cake in their own book. That, that's true. Yes. Well, you know, uh, we need, this is so exciting. Hey, gang, you know. We're going to, I am so excited, we're going to unveil the, we're going to unveil the Collabra.Creation collabra by our five guests here today. So let's all go over, guys, block it first, and then you'll turn around. Okay, yo, yo, here we go, yeah, yeah, because we're going to get, we need to get the camera over. Yes, and oh, this is so exciting. And we're going to have our countdown. Th five, four, three, two, one, voila! Look at that. Look at that. You, but you know, it needs five signatures on this. So we need our five guests to uh, sign this. Okay, and yes, you did, uh, like every good artist, yes. So they're going to uh, sign this great uh, creation, and we hope you continue to celebrate that day. And remember to share your creations using Make Your Mark. That's hashtag Make Your Mark. The team here at Kid Lit. TV can't wait to see all your creations. You've seen our creation. We want to see your creation. So have a good dot day, everyone. See you all. <laughs>